you can bring up whatever you want. Just dial in toll free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we have Skype. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. You do have to send a contact request first, and then at that point it'll be easy for you to get in touch with us uh, through Skype. So with you in the studio tonight, it is Ian. And Daryl. All right, let's uh, jump right into the news. Got a couple of updates here. First up... Maybe the story about Kim Jong-un mandating that every man in North Korea have his hair cut. Maybe that's not exactly true. Uh, We talked about it earlier this week here on Free Talk Live. A story from the Detroit Free Press. A viral report this week claimed the North Korean government was forcing male college students to get Kim Jong-un's hair cut. Actually, the version we read said it was all males in North Korea. The problem with the story is there's no evidence that it's true. The story originated with Free Radio Asia, a not-for-profit news agency based in Washington, D.C. And the reported uh, story reported that the ruling Workers' Party ordered students to get the leader's hairstyle with shaved sides and a long parted top, according to the Free Radio Asia story. Radio Asia reported there was no written directive citing unnamed sources. But the Associated Press reports that North Korea watchers smell another imaginative but uncorroborated rumor. The AP spoke with Simon Cockrell of Koryo Tours, which specializes in bringing foreign tourists to North Korea. Cockrell told the AP, I was just there a few days ago, and no sign of that. It's definitely not true. (laughs) Also, an AP journalist in Pyongyang said she had not seen any recent changes in hairstyles among college students in the capital. NK News also spoke with recent visitors to North Korea who said the same thing. Everyone had typical haircuts last week, although it was pointed out that there are certain government-approved hairstyles uh, in North Korea. What? According to Andre Abramian, executive director of the Singapore-based NGO Chosun Exchange, which works regularly with young North Korean professionals, uh, according to NK News, it's not unheard of for the North Korean government to mandate how citizens can style their hair, however. In 2005, the government directed men to keep their hair short, no longer than two inches, according to the AP. Older men received a small exemption to allow for comb-overs, according to the same report. Add the Kim Jong-un hair mandate rumor to other unconfirmed and later debunked stories coming out of North Korea, including one in January that Kim Jong-un killed his uncle by feeding him alive to a pack of hungry dogs. You know, when I read something that says, you know, North Korea decrees this or North Korea claims to land a man on the sun, I immediately think that it's a joke article. Mm hmm. Just because there's so much misinformation coming out about North Korea, like the whole, you know, unicorn den. Yeah, I don't know that one. The oh, that there, there was a thing last year to where they supposedly found sacred text talking about how Pyongyang is the capital of unicorns or something along those lines. Uh-huh. And then a, a couple of months later... It came out that, no, in fact, this word doesn't translate to mean unicorn. It translates to mean something else. But it it just seems to me that people want to make jokes at North Korea's expense. And so they put out all of these horrible satire sort of things. I, I don't even know if satire is the right word for just blatantly false lies. Well... Now, the story originated from Radio Free Asia, and when I was reading uh, the version that we had on the air a couple days ago, whenever it was we talked about it here on Free Talk Live, I did find myself wondering, you know, is this true? Because finding out what the truth is about North Korea is a real challenge. Yes. Uh, There's no independent press of which to really speak in North Korea. As we did point out, there was a great documentary put out earlier this year, I think it was, or the very end of 2013. Yeah, I think it was early, I think maybe January of this year, by Frontline uh, on PBS called The Secret State of North Korea. And they had undercover camera operators uh, just kind of out amongst the people in North Korea, just regular North Koreans who had the courage to operate an undercover camera because if you get caught doing that, you're probably going to go to a prison camp. Right. 
Um, and that was a really interesting perspective on this particular very kind of closed off state. It's you don't get to go there as a camera person and walk off an, a chosen path as dictated by the North Korean central government. You don't get to go there as a private person going, you know, oh, hey, I think I want to go to Pyongyang this weekend. You don't get to do that. No, certainly not on a whim. I mean, you can set up. Obviously, there are ways to do it because some people are able to do it. In fact, they talk about uh, this Koryo Tours, which brings foreign tourists to North Korea. So right, clearly, and they're on a very scripted right. path. That's it's right. like going on a bus tour to North Korea. Right, you like, see you know, what if, they if, want you to see. If you decided, I want to go to Paris... And you get off the plane, and then the French officials tell you, okay, you now get on the bus and do what we tell you. Nobody would want to go to Paris. So, uh, the, yeah, they take you on their specified tour, and you're not allowed to, to, uh, to stray from that. Now, back to the story here from the Radio Free Asia. So I'm looking at the original story, and they do say here that there is some sort of an order not coming from Kim, but... Coming from the Workers' Party, it's supposedly a recommendation from the Workers' Party. So maybe it's not actually a law in North Korea. Maybe it's just a suggestion, a, a very serious suggestion. And if it just came out in March, this being the end of March when we're producing this radio program, perhaps there is a certain period of time on which uh, people have to get the uh, men have to get the Kim Jong Un hairstyle. So, you know, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, right? So that these reports are saying it may not be true, but we still don't really know for sure. And there's not really any measurable way to find out for sure. Because if you want news out of North Korea, it's got to come from the underground or it has to come from the official state-sanctioned and state-controlled media. Right. And obviously I'm going to trust what the underground is saying over state media but getting news out of the underground is a very, very difficult task. Yes. Because there aren't very many people who are willing to be independent news media in uh, in North Korea and face prison camps. Right. So that's... Uh, you and know, not just prison camps for themselves, but prison camps for their entire families. Absolutely true. If you get in trouble in North Korea, they may just go ahead and pick up your daughter and your uncle and, uh, you know, you're not just not just your immediate family, but sometimes, you know, your family once or twice removed and they'll come knocking on your door and they'll take you away for something a family member did you didn't even know was a family member. Yeah. So you're welcome to share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. The story from RFA, which I did not uh, have in front of me the other night does say that colleges nationwide are treating it as a directive, even though it is supposedly a recommendation from the ruling Workers' Party. They're treating it as a directive, and many students are disgruntled by it, according to the RFA's Korean service, speaking on a condition of anonymity. The round-faced Kim's trademark half-buzz, half-mop hairstyle, which, according to the news story we read, is also known as the Chinese smuggler haircut <laughs> in North Korea, apparently. <laughs> is very unique, but it does not look good on some face shapes, according to the source. However, the college authorities have told the students that this is a party recommendation and must be adhered to. So, on one hand, you have this AFP story saying the colleges are are going to enforce this, uh, and this is a relatively new ruling. On the other hand, you've got other uh, people saying who claim to have been on the ground recently in North Korea saying they have not noticed this that they've been around the colleges in North Korea and they have not seen this being implemented. So maybe it just hasn't been implemented yet, or maybe the whole story's bunk. Who knows? Your guess is as good as ours. 855-450 free. Also coming up, the Hawaii police. Remember last week we talked about uh, Hawaii cops begging to be able to continue to have sex with prostitutes because apparently it's been legal for them to do that in the course of trying to bust them. We'll give you an update on that story here in moments. Daryl's got that and you can bring up anything on Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is. And it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. 
What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical Bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You gotta see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-453-free. That's 855-450-3733. And join us on Skype. Our username there is lrn.fm. Join Daryl on his websites. He's got two of them now, fpp.cc for all things written of Daryl, including a newspaper and books. Uh, and articles as well, just yes. kind of blog posts and things like that. And then fppradio.com for Daryl's various different audio efforts, which include Peace, Love, Liberty Radio, a weekly live uh, radio program. And then also you, on a daily basis, are doing news. What's that all about? I've been doing this, I believe, 53 or 54 days in a row now, putting out a daily five-minute newscast. And that is available uh, via downloadable podcast, which is yes. handy. So if you are somebody who, you know, you've got to drive to work in the morning or you're riding on the subway and you want to get a quick 
five minute bite of uh, of the news from a Liberty perspective. Uh, Daryl does that and does a good job of it. And also they air at the top of the hour uh, about every three hours on LRN.FM as well as uh, Voice of Russia news and just for fun and uh, and the Liberty beat out of Austin, Texas and elsewhere. So uh, go check out Daryl, FPP.cc and FPPradio.com. And don't forget the Free State Project. It's the reason why Daryl and I are here right now in New Hampshire. Uh, otherwise, we probably never would have had a chance to meet. Maybe at some convention somewhere. In Possibly, libertari- maybe. Libertarian land. Um, but this, the Free State Project, is your best chance at achieving liberty in your lifetime. Why? Well, the idea is simple. You get people who love liberty together in the same geographic area. You create a community that doesn't exist anywhere else. You create a community of people who actually care about freedom, which is awesome, because to actually have social events you can go to where people already understand the ideas of liberty, that's pretty nice. And there's also amazing activism that goes on here as well, because we have liberty activists. These are like some of the best of the best liberty activists. You've got to be pretty dedicated to the ideas of freedom to be able to pick up your life and move to another location. Daryl, you came from Texas, I believe, right before yes. moving here. I was in Florida. People have come from as far away as Russia, as a matter of fact, to come here as part of the Free State Project. So there are over 15,500 participants in the Free State Project at the moment. We want to reach 20,000. So we're still wor- working toward that eventual goal. But many people don't want to wait until 20,000 because the old, kind of the original agreement with the Free State Project was that once the project reached 20,000, then there'd be a five year window of time to move. But many of us didn't want to wait. We just moved as soon as possible. There are over 1,500 people that are here now, and we've got just amazing things happening. You really, if you love freedom, you owe it to yourself to check out freestateproject.org. Let's go to the phones, and then coming up, the update on the Hawaii police looking to retain the ability to have sex with prostitutes. There's uh, there's news about that case or the uh, an update on that. First, let's go to Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends on Skype. Hello, Michael Dean. Hello, this is Michael Dean. Hi. It's really good to be here and I love your show. First time caller, <laughs> long time listener. Uh, I love everything about the show and it's just getting better and better and better, but I hate the sound of phone calls. Most phone calls sound oh horrible. God. Yeah. I am on a mission Here's my activism. I do a lot of yakking. Anybody can yak. My activism, my main activism is to get as many people as possible in liberty sounding good. Mm. And that just takes a cheap mic and a little bit of uh, information from creamy radio audio. And you can do it. It's not rocket science, man. So I am doing a contest. I've given away like seven of these mics. They're the fiends have given away two. And I've bought five of them and given them away to people who are good liberty voices. And I have one left. And it's a... Audio Technica USB 2005, I think is the model number, but it's just the most kick butt microphone in the world. And I'm having my last one to be given away, brand new. It's a contest. And all you got to do is go to badquaker.com. And there's a little thing there publicizing this fundraiser we're having for Ben Stone to get him to Porkfest. All you have to do is copy and paste those two lines, share them on the Twitter, share them on the Facebook, share them on your blog, mention them on your radio show, whatever, and then post a comment so we know you did it. And six days from now, we're going to pick one at random, and we're going to give them a microphone and teach them to use it. Sweet. So how, do you, how do you go there again? Is badquaker.com? You go to badquaker.com. It's the top post, and if it's not, by the time you hear this later on the interwebs, go down a couple posts. It says uh, – Help Ben Stone and win a microphone. And there's a picture of Ben smiling there at Porkfest under a rainbow with Derek Slopey and Davi Barker and Ross and uh, Ernie Hancock. And we want to get him back there. Very cool, man. Well, I appreciate that. And uh, and I agree with you that people that spend a little bit of time and money on upgrading their audio equipment are much more pleasurable to have on the air and thereby might get more time on the air as uh-huh. a result of that, that's certainly a possibility because sometimes phone calls are just intolerably bad and I can only handle it for so long. I, I don't know if I've been spoiled by Skype and the audio quality that com- that tends to come out of it or if uh, there's just something wrong at the network and the the, compressions, the compression is not set correctly on the, the phone pod. I'm not no, sure. No, I'm it's fairly phones. certain you're spoiled by Skype. I must be. Mike? Skype's gotten better since Microsoft bought them. I think now that you know maybe the NSA wants to – they want us to use it more because it's easier to tap than phones or something. I don't know, but the sound is outstanding now on Skype. 
I'm talking on Skype. You are, and, and you're using that very same microphone you talked about? No, no. I'm using a little bit better one with I a see. you know tube preamp and a ni- uh, 1961 Telefunken tube that a fan sent me that you can't get anymore, but it's pretty awesome. But hmm. uh, that mic plugged into just a regular computer with nothing but USB and a pair of f- headphones sounds about 88% as good as this mic. That's pretty great, and uh, thanks for the heads up on that, Michael Dean. Again, that's yep. badquaker.com, and anything else you want to share tonight? No, man, I'm done. I'm right. out. Thank Appreciate you for it. your service. Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends at uh, 855 450 free, the toll free number here tonight. Or you can contact us through Skype. Now, here's a tip for you you can automatically upgrade your sound quality of your cell phone by installing Skype and calling us on Skype with your cell phone. And the reason why is because uh, the the old phone network. It's got to be legacy compatible. Uh, You know, they are upgrading the phone network. They are moving from certain technologies to you know the old technologies uh, to more voice over IP, which can can provide what what's called wide band audio. Wide band meaning that you can hear the full range of the human voice, as opposed to uh, and and maybe beyond that, but as opposed to this the restricted bandwidth of the old phone technology. But because kind of the old phone system has to be compatible with old phones, they still have restrictions on certain uh, frequencies of voice that can travel over those lines. You can solve that, though, by using an all-digital connection, which is what Skype essentially is. And any old cell phone with a, with a smartphone, uh, any smartphone, is capable of doing this. As long as you've got room to install Skype, you can automatically upgrade the way you sound, but you just have to use the Skype feature to call us on username lrn.fm, if that makes sense. So you'd still be calling from your phone, it's just that your phone will sound better. Because you're calling from the Skype app on your phone. Correct, and the Skype app, inc- it you know, it compresses all of the, the audio that it's being sent instead of the phone line, which chops it off at a certain frequency range. So, there you go. Go get the Skype app if you, uh, if you don't mind. If you're worried about the NSA, don't do any drug deals over the Skype app. Uh, <laughs> Okay, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. In fact, there's another app for that. You could try Redphone. I uh, hear that is an encrypted uh, way of communicating That's the with one that calls people. the Kremlin? I don't know about that, Daryl. Uh, more coming up. This is Free Talk Live. Attention radio listeners, are you getting amazing results from your store-bought Omega-3? Since taking Omax-3, mental fuzziness is gone, I'm on top of things. My bad cholesterol had gone down, and my triglycerides had gone down. Being 53, sometimes it's pretty uncomfortable getting up and getting out of bed. With the Omax-3, I'm jumping out of bed, and the joints feel great. We want your Omax story next, so we're sending you a free supply. Developed by Ivy League doctors affiliated with Yale University, Omax-3 is clinically tested to help improve cholesterol and reduce triglycerides by 30% in just 30 days while fighting joint pain better than your store brand. You can also feel improvements in your mood and memory with your first free supply. Omax 3's pharmaceutical grade omega 3s come individually blister packed so it absorbs better and gives you faster results with no fish burps. Feel results in just days, guaranteed. Get your free supply today for just the cost of shipping. Call 1 800 672 4601. That's 1 800 672 4601. 800 672 4601. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, and 
many takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. In order to more accurately portray the risks of smoking, the FDA has approved putting a picture of Trish on the cover of all cigarette packs. Clinical trials suggest that images of diseased organs, corpses, and deformed infants all prove less effective than a single photograph of Trish smiling. Smokers can expect to see the graphic campaign as early as next month, paired with a simple line of text that reads, Cigarettes Cause Trish. In science news, a new study finds that every style of parenting inevitably produces disturbed and miserable adults. Despite a great variance in parenting styles across populations, from overprotective to permissive, the end product is always the same, a profoundly flawed and joyless human being. One bright note of the study, adults can find temporary happiness when they're able to perpetuate the cycle of human misery by having children. In other news, the Pulitzer board adds a giant pumpkin category, and a local man's utter failure in life is a bit of a sore spot. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Talk Live, bring up anything right here. Toll free number 855 453. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. And what is Pro XPN? Well, it is a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data, meaning that before your data leaves your computer's network port or Wi Fi port, it is encrypted by Pro XPN software, which you can download for free right now at proxpn.com slash FTL. Use our promo code, by the way, when you're ready to upgrade your Pro XPN. That's FTL20. Get you 20% off the price of their premium account. Now, what do you get with a premium account? Because you can start right now for free. But with a premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth. You also get to select your server of preference around the world. So there are different servers uh, all at different points in the world. There's one in the Netherlands, another in Singapore, another in London, I think Prague, and uh, several in the United States. So you select the server of your choice. If you're going to be doing private torrenting, which is also something you can only do with their premium account, you're going to want to use their Netherlands server due to Netherlands having the greatest privacy protections for that sort of thing. ProXPN.com protects you from having your internet uh, service provider snooping on you, which they probably are doing right now. They're probably logging every website you visit and every search term that you enter for, in some cases, up to five years. You can stop that tonight by going to proxpn.com slash FTL and grabbing their software. It's available for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, and Android devices. If you are a Linux user, email proxpn. They'll send you back some instructions that are very simple as to how you can get proxpn working on your Linux system. It's pretty simple, actually, but you just have to send that email. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Go get set up. Use our discount code FTL20. Get that 20% off for the lifetime of the account. And that brings your price down to 5 bucks a month if you order the annual package at proxpn.com slash FTL. You get a risk-free 7-day money-back guarantee. And by the way, ProXPN, unlike your ISP, does not log your online surfing habits. So proxpn.com slash FTL code FTL20 when you're ready to order the premium package. Our toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. We started out with an update about the North Korean haircut story. Now another update, this time of the Hawaii police story, which was just so bizarre last week, where Hawaiian police apparently... Up until very recently... Oh, they still currently they still have the authority. They uh, they have been able to, for as long as, as rememberable, uh, to actually have sex with prostitutes in the process of attempting to, to bust them. Yes. So there has been a proposal, if I'm recalling correctly, uh, by the, the state government legislature, state legislature to ban the police from having sex with prostitutes as part of their investigatory powers... And the police were coming out to oppose that. Yes. 
Now, Daryl, you have an update in the case. I do. And when I saw the headline, I immediately thought, this is from The Onion. But it's not. It's from Reason.com. And for anyone that's not familiar, Reason.com is a fairly libertarian Mm -hmm. publication. They have, I, I think, what is it, a monthly magazine that they've been putting out for a while and I presume they still have the magazine. I they they do. I, I've seen copies okay. not too long ago. I just couldn't remember monthly or bi-monthly. But, you know, they do a very good job of fact-checking what they put out. They don't publish satire. Mm. And the headline of this, and I, I'm going to be somewhat careful because of, you know, radio has to be friendliness. Radio friendly. yep. Uh, Hawaii cops give up on sex with hookers, settle for handies and blows. Okay. The story then says Hawaii or cops. HJs and BJs. Yes. Hawaii cops have reached an agreement with state legislators that will limit the exemption that allows them to have <laughs> sex with prostitutes. Police originally insisted an open ended license to fornicate. But now they are willing to settle for heavy petting and BJs and other activities that fall short of penetration. Hawaii's current prostitution law includes a blanket exemption for law enforcement officers, quote, acting in the course and scope of duties, end quote, that covers both agreeing to pay for sex and actually having sex. As you may recall, some members of the state House of Representatives, who apparently were surprised to discover this exemption existed, wanted to remove sexual penetration and sadomasochistic abuse from the from the list of things cops are allowed to do with prostitutes. Police originally objected, saying that change would put a damper on their work. And the bill that the House ultimately passed left the exemption alone. But news of the next amendment generated enough outrage that police are now willing to compromise. (laughs) Earlier in the week, State Senator Clayton He, who chairs the Senate Judiciary and Labor Committee, told KHON, the Fox affiliate in Honolulu, that the Honolulu Police Department agrees that sexual penetration in the law that they are exempt from should no longer be an exemption for police officers. HPD's Major Jerry Inouye told the station that the department has never allowed police officers never allowed police officers to actually have sex with prostitutes and that HPD only wanted to keep that part of the law to allow them is the Honolulu police? Yes. So you're saying that even though it was legal for the police to have sex with prostitutes, the Honolulu PD is claiming that it was departmental policy that they weren't allowed to do that. But we're just supposed to take their word for it. Right. We're not allowing them to do this. But if you take away this exemption from us, then we can't do our investigations properly. Hmm. Well, you've been doing your investigations properly without doing it. So they claim. So they claim. But if a police officer in the Honolulu PD were to violate the departmental policy and have sex with a prostitute, that would not be illegal. That would just be a departmental policy violation and would be punishable by whatever administrative departmental sanctions that they have. Which right. Could be, which could be a stern talking to. But as we know, Ian, even when cops do violate the law, right. they hardly ever get prosecuted and that's all true. they get is a stern talking to <laughs> and a paid vacation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Only they don't call it paid vacation. No, it's it's administrative paid leave. administrative leave. Yeah. So he says that they've never actually allowed their police to have sex with prostitutes, but that they need the exemption as a way to allow officers to make a verbal agreement for sex for money because that's the crux for most prostitution investigations. But that's not what Jason Kawabata, captain of the vice department, told the Judiciary Committee last month. Mm Mm-hmm. And they have a quote from Captain Kawabata. 
that says, as written, this bill would nullify the exemption if the officer agrees to pay a fee for sexual penetration or sadomasochistic abuse. This would limit the type of violation law Rather, this would limit the types of violations that law enforcement officers are able to enforce. Even if the intent of the amendment is merely to limit actual conduct by the officer, we must oppose it. Codifying the limitation on an officer's conduct would greatly assist pimps and prostitutes in their effort to avoid prosecution. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. He said that he wanted to make sure that it was legal for officers to promise money for sex, including penetration, but he also wanted to preserve the exemption for actually having sex with hookers, even though the That's major not- insist that he was never allowed to do this because codifying the limitation on an officer's conduct would greatly assist pimps and prostitutes in their efforts to avoid prosecution. Mm. So the claim is that if they can't have the actual sex, that that means they can't even negotiate for the sex? It's ridiculous. That seems to be what they're claiming. But yeah, it's completely absurd, and there's just a little bit more to this article. We can share that here here in moments. Your calls, though, come first. You dial in toll-free at 855-453, whether it's horny cops you want to talk about or whatever happens to be on your mind. You may take control of the airwaves here. And also our Skype username is LRN.FM. More Free Talk Live continues in moments. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Hey everyone, have you heard about the No No Hair Removal Device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for No No Hair Removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my No No. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No No Hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want. Coming up, some creepy news, which almost seems unbelievable, about... Reading your mind, like computers actually being able to read your brainwaves or something to that effect. We'll give you uh, more details. It's pretty shocking. Coming up here in a little bit, 855-450, freeze the toll-free number. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show, username lrn.fm. We're going to go into your phone calls and thoughts. You don't have to call about the uh, the Hawaii police wanting to retain the ability to have uh, not sex. It was originally they wanted to have full-on penetration, but now they've come to an agreement with the state legislature that they'll give up full-on sex with prostitutes if they can just keep HJs and BJs. So that's the latest on that case. And Daryl said there's a little bit more, but we'll finish it up when we get a chance. First to the phones and your calls and thoughts. Brian is in California. You're on Free Talk Live. Brian. Um, I don't know if something like this already exists, but um, why is there no uh, tax revolt project, like uh, Free State Project style, you know, like where people would sign up after they had so many signatures, you know, a million or so, <laughs> I don't know, then everybody would agree to not pay taxes on the same for the same year or whatever. Maybe well, I can answer that question, but would like you that. like to speculate on why you think it might be first, Brian? Um, maybe out of fear, but I think like if people saw other people signing, you know, People, more people might be encouraged to join in and, you know, when everybody would not pay, everybody would agree to not pay at the same time. I don't know. Before you get into your answer, mm-hmm. Ian, I, I just want to say that if there was such a thing as the tax revolt project, mm-hmm. then th- there would be government agents that would be looking over the list of people who have put their names onto that project and then those government agents would begin to investigate those individuals and this is not speculation on my part Mm. because i know for a fact that in i believe it was 2008 there was a petition done by the we the people foundation where they this asked, was a six hundred thousand signature thing, right? Uh, I I forget how many signatures there were. Yeah. There were, but they asked people to turn in a petition for redress to every member of Congress, and there was a couple in Missouri that turned in a petition to their local congressman. This was just asking questions. Yes. Yeah. The local congressman replied with a letter. That he, fo- or rather, he replied to them with the letter that was a copy of what he forwarded to the IRS that said, Dear IRS, here's information on some tax protesters and included the names and addresses of the local people that filed the petition for redress mm-hmm. asking questions about the validity of the income tax. Yeah, so uh, so I'll go ahead and venture a guess here as to why something like that never has happened, uh, and it has a lot to do with what Daryl said and what you also suggest, Brian, and that is that people are scared 
Uh, they're and you know rightly afraid. The government does put people in jail cells, and they usually make a bit of a to do about it. Like Wesley Snipes, I think he spent three years behind bars uh, for, you know, and I don't know if it was minimum security. I presume it was, but regardless, it's three years away from him being able to do what he ultimately would have liked to have done for uh, some for whatever level of tax protest that he was engaged in. And so people look at those sorts of stories and they say to themselves, well, I don't want to be that person and I don't want to be first and I don't want to put my name on a list. And and even if you could come up with some sort of a list that would not reveal the names of the people who signed it, then why would anyone else believe that there were any names on that list in the first place? There's going to be a whole lot of trepidation and fear surrounding the uh, the signing of such a thing. And even if you were to somehow be able to show the potential signers that, yes, these are actually real signers without somehow revealing who the real signers were to those people, so even if you could accomplish that, then, of course, people would wonder, well, even if we do get to a million people, who's to say that all the million are actually going to withhold the taxes? How would you val- validate that those people are actually doing that? There's no way to really bring that whole project together in any meaningful fashion. So rather than— But isn't it still better than individuals? Um, you know- you know, t- at it on their own, you know. I mean, at least so. Go ahead, give, that are, like, go, right on, get right, it right, started. Right. See how that goes. In fact, I'll bet you somebody has tried this before because I've talked about something similar in the past on on Free Talk Live. It's I'm sure it's not the same time, uh, the the first time that an idea like this has been put forth. Um, but you know, go ahead and see how many signers you can get and how long it takes you. If it takes you, you know, 20 years to get a, a million signatures or whatever the number is that you would feel is is appropriate, then is it really worth all the effort that uh, that you put into it? And beyond that, what is yeah, the know appropriate actually number? There's more people that don't pay anyways than I than I could probably get in signers, right? Well, right. There's supposedly uh, what 60 million people or something like that that regularly don't pay uh, income tax. So already you have a fairly large tax revolt on on your hands. Are, are you just those don't people know who that don't are. pay or people that don't file? Um, because there's a very large number of people that don't file. I think it may be And then of file. the people that do file. Roughly 47% wind up getting money back. I don't know, Daryl. I think it may be don't file, but I could be I could be wrong. I certainly had, I'd be happy to be checked, fact-checked on that claim. But what I would suggest is the best uh, solution would be to join the Free State Project, move to New Hampshire, and then come together with the people who are already openly not paying, like myself and Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. I'm not sure about you, Daryl. I think you're still involved in that, that whole system. I've filed only because I get some of the money back that has yeah. been stolen from me. Mark Edge has just stopped paying as well. So we've got a number of people who are fairly prominent in the media here who are not paying taxes. Last year, I did have a W-2 job. Uh, okay. So far this year, I have not. Gotcha. And I don't plan on having a W-2 job this year. So I don't think I will be filing anymore as long as I don't have a job where you know they're giving my information to the government. I've been having them. I've had various companies give my information to the government, so that may be why they're investigating me right now at the at the IRS. Uh, but regardless, there is risk involved in this. Even if you were to talk about doing a, a petition process, nothing will make people feel ultimately safe in the in the process of not paying taxes. And really. Don't we want people to uh, to understand that risk is going to be involved if you want to be free? They're not just going to let everybody walk away from this. Uh, it's not going to be a cakewalk. There's going to be some level of resistance on the part of the people in the state, and that is going to result in some people going to going to jail. Uh, Rich Paul, of course, is a friend of ours and a Free State Project participant who went to jail for the bulk of a year for selling cannabis and unapologetically selling it and going to court and not taking the plea deal. So I think that the best way to, to encourage people to not pay taxes is to stand up up and set an example for our friends and neighbors and to show them the way rather than to hope that you can gather enough people to make an agreement to at some point in the future stop paying. If you if you disagree with what the government is doing, if you think it's wrong to pay for murder and to pay for rape and to pay for molestation and horrors, then you should stop paying as soon as you possibly can. But it helps to be around other people physically who are of the same mindset. And that's why I recommend the free one of the reasons why I recommend the Free State Project. Brian, what else did you want to share tonight? Um, I just wanted your advice on a small moral dilemma. Um, a, w- a while back, I bought one of those uh, Butterfly Labs jalapenos. I don't know if you're familiar with those. Is this a Bitcoin mining um, rig? Yeah, exactly. And um, now it's like barely profitable. I'm making like 25 cents a day on it, but it's still profitable even after electricity. Hmm, okay. So I put up on I put up on Craigslist an ad to sell it for 50 bucks, and I'm getting responses and. I know very well that they're not going to make their money back, you know, and they just 
they're kind of noobish at it and I just feel kind of bad if I were to sell it to them. Actually, the first guy that called me, I actually even talked him out of it. So I don't know. <laughs> should I? <laughs> well, some people um, want to mine just for the hobby aspect. So you're selling a product. If the person who wants to buy it wants to buy it, then it's buyer beware. I mean, Bitcoin mining isn't a particularly profitable thing to do, at least not from any of the experiences I've ever heard from anyone who's ever gotten involved in mining. In fact, I'm glad to hear that you're actually turning a 25 cent a day profit at it. That's the first mining success story uh, that I've ever heard as far as profitability is concerned. So I would say you shouldn't concern yourself with their motivations. Maybe they want to buy it and you know reverse engineer it, or maybe they want to buy it and take it apart, or maybe they want to just just plug it in and mine for a hobby. And and if they're mining for hobby purposes, then they don't care if it costs them money. So I I don't think it's your job to really be concerned with that. What do you think, Daryl? Well, I kind of look at it like this. Also, um, I saw on Craigslist uh, for the same miner, another guy was selling the same miner for a uh, hundred dollars so i figure if he buys mine for fifty dollars i might be doing him a favor so there you go daryl what do you think about the morality of selling in a product that cannot be used to turn a profit there are a lot of products that can't be used to turn a profit when i go to you know some restaurant to purchase lunch i can't make a profit yeah but the buyer may have the that. belief that they could make a profit off of this product well, and people join in the multi-level marketing things all the time thinking they're going to oh, wind man. up getting rich. Tell me about it. Brian, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. Skype on in. Username LRN.FM. Still to come tonight, the creepy brain reading method that seems to be real on the way. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand-scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three-quarter inch pre-finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22-month special financing is available. So go to LumberLiquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. You gotta pay attention to the small things, kid. Small things matter. Small problems become big problems. Take a transformer. Rain leaks into a transformer. Insulation system breaks down. Insulation system breaks down. Copper windings overheat. Copper windings overheat. Transformer blows. Transformer blows. Facility goes dark. Facility goes dark. Kid, you don't wanna know what happens next. That's why I use Granger. Granger helps keep small problems from turning into big problems. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, March 28, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.67 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,290 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $502. 
Speaking in Brussels, President Obama dismissed suggestions by Russia and its supporters that the Iraq war undercuts the United States' credibility in criticizing Russia's incursion into Crimea. Obama said, It is true that the Iraq war was a subject of vigorous debate, not just around the world, but in the United States as well. But even in Iraq, America sought to work within the international system. We did not claim or annex Iraq's territory, nor did we grab its resources for our own gain. Instead, we ended our war and left Iraq to its people and a fully sovereign Iraqi state could make decisions about its future. Jason Dietz from Antiwar.com wrote, The U.S. left Iraq, but the war did not, and even today the U.S. is throwing military aid at the nation in ever-increasing numbers to fight off al-Qaeda, which has seized significant chunks of the country. Obama also mentioned Kosovo, saying, NATO only intervened after the people of Kosovo were systematically brutalized and killed for years, and Kosovo only left Serbia after a referendum was organized, not outside the boundaries of international law, but in careful cooperation with the United Nations and with Kosovo's neighbors. The truth is, there was no referendum at any point, not during the 1999 NATO invasion of Kosovo or the 2001 imposition of secession, nor in 2008 when Kosovo declared independence. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. Ballot Access News reports on March 24th, Jeffrey Wald, a member of the Alameda County, California Republican Central Committee, filed a lawsuit charging that two Republican candidates in a particular congressional race are sham candidates who entered the race to split the Republican vote and cause no Republican to qualify for the general election ballot. Three Republicans and two Democrats filed for that race. The lawsuit charges that two of the Republicans filed at the last minute in an effort to dilute the Republican vote vote in the June 2014 primary. If California did not have a top two system, the entry of sham candidates would have no effect on the Republican frontrunner. But in California, in congressional races, the top two vote getters are the only candidates who run in November. One of the two last minute Republican candidates has been removed from the ballot because he only had 38 valid signatures instead of 40. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. All of your funds on Coinbase are safe, with approximately 90% of customer funds being stored offline and all wallets are stored using AES-256 encryption. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, Officially, everyone seems to be settled on the idea that the Russian annexation of Crimea is not some redux of the World War II blitzkrieg or of Russia reforming the entire Warsaw Pact in a weekend. Still, that doesn't mean officials aren't using it as an excuse for a laundry list of military policies. President Obama, who made a big point of mocking Russia and downplaying the Crimean situation as a sign of Putin's weakness, is now pushing NATO to commit to a military buildup in Eastern Europe. Not that there's a war coming, mind you. President Obama has ruled out attacking Crimea several times, but says a buildup would be a great way to reassure Poland and the Baltic states that, as NATO members, the alliance is willing to defend them from a Russian invasion that no one thinks is coming anyhow. It also fits in neatly with Obama's other major goal to parlay the Russia situation into a dramatic increase in military spending across Europe and, by extension, an increase in military exports to the continent. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
Five Hour Energy CEO Manoj Bhargava claimed this week that the 13 deaths associated with his product were just collateral damage in his company's ongoing war against that 230 feeling. Quote, we honor the sacrifice of all those who have fallen. I wish we could live in a world where you could get a spike of energy and no crash and not die. But that's not the world we live in. Passionate supporters have flooded social media, demonstrating the terrifying costs of midday drowsiness and fatigue, with consumers saying that when it comes to extra alertness in the mid-afternoon, they are willing to pay any price. As the wife of a five-hour energy drinker, we've had to sacrifice a lot in the name of long-lasting bursts of energy that carry you out of the workday and into the evening. We knew the risks going in. Argava says his company has no plans to stop until the 2.30 feeling is completely wiped off the map, at which point they will turn their attention to that 3.30 feeling, 4.30 feeling, and people with a case of the Mondays. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up whatever you want right here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. And of course, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features. You may create the content. What is on the front page of the website was created by listeners like you. You find something online that you think is interesting, you submit it as show prep over at freetalklive.com. It appears on our site, can then be voted on by other listeners, so you can vote up what you like, and if you want, don't like something, you can vote that down, and then ultimately we'll know what you think is interesting. Maybe it's news, maybe it's blog post, maybe it's a YouTube video. Submit what you want over at freetalklive.com. Now, uh, we do have Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Just had a, somebody send a contact request. It has been approved, as yours will be if you send a contact request as well. In fact, we're going to go right into your calls with Skype. And then coming up, a, just a creepy story about mind reading. Computers that can read your mind. Oh, I, I was going to try guessing that you were thinking of a blue baby elephant. No, uh, not humans reading your mind. It's a, it's just a shocking story, actually. I mean, it seemed like something that was coming down the road. You've seen it in movies and things like that. Like uh, the one, what's the one with Tom Cruise? Uh, I shouldn't. I don't remember what it's called. Minority Report. Yeah, that's the one. Minority, where they're pre the pre crime thing, where they're yeah. trying to detect what people are going to do. This has some pretty kind of pre crimey suggestions here in this story we'll get to that but uh, liberty phoenix is on the line calling from illinois and he's on via skype hello there liberty phoenix hey guys um i was calling i wanted to call in yesterday but i didn't get the chance because i know you guys had johnson on yes um, i was able to take a look at his uncut video tour for of uh, pork fest for 2013 if anybody is having any doubts about whether or not they want to go to pork fest Take a look at that video. It's it's almost about an hour, hour and 50 minutes. It's an amazing walkthrough. It covers, you know, the whole grounds. Um, he had uh, the the dance party, and uh, he goes, covers all the agorist, uh, what is it, agorist valley, agra valley? Yeah, that's where a lot of people are kind of set up shop, selling various different goods and services and foods and things like that, ice cream. Yeah, it, it goes, does a, a full walkthrough of everything that you can expect, and it, it really cemented my urge and my drive to go to pork fest even more than i wanted to before but wow, i just wanted to throw great. everybody out there let them know that you know free talk live johnson on youtube it's he's got a great walkthrough and uh if you guys are questioning yourselves check it out so, all right cool well i'll um, tell you what i'll try to dig up the link to that video pork fest 2013 uncut tour and i will post that on our facebook google plus and twitter for those who would like an easy access uh to the video and i'm glad it was persuasive to you uh liberty phoenix does that mean you're coming this year or next year I've already requested the time off for this year. I just need to get the money together. It's that's the only issue. It's probably like what, like something like four hundred bucks for the. It's like what a hundred dollars for the ticket, correct? Is that what it is? Oh, I don't think it's that expensive yet. I know it was like sixty. Yeah, I know it was like forty something during uh, Liberty Forum, and it went up after that. So I would guess it's probably no more than sixty at this point. But it'll it'll increase as it's you get closer. It's sixty as of right now, unless you add on any of the things. There's a brunch fest, which is Ooh, new this year. Sounds good. 
And then there's the one pot cook off. That's always very popular. Each of those, if you want to be a judge, it's nine dollars. You can add on for some of the classes that people are teaching to get, you know, the uh, handouts or whatever it is that mm-hmm. they're doing. So they, there are a few add ons. Yeah, the Pork Fest event itself is not very expensive, as you said, sixty bucks if you pre-order right now. Yes. Um, the the real cost of Pork Fest is getting here and and then staying yeah. here. Uh, so some people will camp out, which is obviously the cheapest way to go. Some will share their campsite with others, which is makes it even cheaper. And some will even share a ride. So if someone's driving, say from Illinois or maybe even further west of you, you may be able to pick up, uh, you know, share a ride with those people. There's a Pork Fest group on Facebook where people can post about, hey, I'm, you know, I'm driving from South Carolina. Do you want to? Am I passing by you? Do you need a ride, etc.? Uh, so that's a good way for people to organize. And I think to a lesser extent, there's also still the Free State Project forum at forum.freestateproject.org, where I believe there is a Pork Fest sub forum there. So that's a couple different ways to get in touch with and reach out to other people who are interested in attending and or have already attended previously and are going again to the Porcupine Freedom Festival. This being the 11th one, by the way. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And some people that are driving from, you're in Illinois, so if they're west of you, if you're not exactly on their route, they might detour a little bit if they know yeah, that they can for pick gas. somebody up to split gas money. Sure. That would so, be awesome. Anything else you want to share um, tonight, Phoenix? I would love to touch on the uh, the um, the tax revolt issue. Sure. Um, as many many of the listeners know, I'm a cable guy. I'm 1099, and I've simply just refused to do it. I'm not going to register my vehicle, and it's basically you know just a waiting game of you know how long is it going to be till they throw me in jail? You have to you have to just come to grips with the state's going to use force against you. I mean, where the Free State Project is, in my opinion, the biggest threat to the state that mm. there's ever been. They're going to come down hard on us, and that's you true. just have to steel yourself and be ready for it. Right, because that's, otherwise that's you really might as well just if you're not willing to take a risk, you might as well just go ahead and plan for a life of obedience, right? I mean it's it's one way or the other as far as I'm concerned. You either do what you're told and you keep doing what you're told, or at some point you say, Nope, no more of this. I'm going to live as free as I possibly can. And if you want to live as free as you possibly can, then it would behoove you, I would think, to get around other people who think like that, because those people will be your best protection. If there's any protection against the state, it's strength in numbers. And uh, I know that uh, you're probably one of the only libertarians in Illinois. Uh, We just had Robert Mathias move out here from Chicago, and he's been having a great time. Anybody that's been reading the Free Keen blog recently knows he's one of our two newest bloggers. Uh, He's living in the Manchester area and has been doing some great uh, work. In fact, they're going to be launching a new television program, which is very exciting. And he's been doing a good job of kind of keeping up to uh, up to speed on some of this, just some of the activism that has been going on out there. So join the other well, I, the other libertarian from Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've I got wanted, a couple of questions well, for you, uh, Liberty Phoenix. Okay. On Go the ahead, cable job, are you driving mm-hmm. your car or yeah. a company car? My my personal vehicle. How long have you not registered your vehicle? About a week and a half, two weeks. It just recently <laughs> happened that my other vehicle blew up. Yeah, he actually called earlier about this, not tonight, but on previous nights, where apparently he bought a car from a coworker and the title's just so effed up that he can't clear the title in any way, and essentially he can't register the car. Okay. So basically, the yeah, state is forced. It would be fine forced... if, the, if the state didn't exist. It'd be there'd be no problem if they didn't exist. But, yeah, you know, I heard. Well, the state doesn't really exist. There's just a bunch of people that believe well, the state exists, so they'll exactly. use guns and and uh, cages to. Well, they force all you. have little badges that were given to them by something calling itself the state of New Hampshire no. or the state of Illinois. It was other people who gave them those badges. They call themselves the state. They're people. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about human beings who believe that they right, have but, the right to control you. And to to, to say that you know, government doesn't exist, and I, I know that we've had this weird conversation before, <laughs> you do acknowledge that there are prisons. What did I just say? There are people with cages and guns who will force you into those places with those guns into the cages in order to force their belief system upon you. But that doesn't mean it's not that a the government. It's not a state. It's a gang. Right. That doesn't Call mean the state, state exists. The state exists as much as the bloods exist. 
There is no the Bloods. There are just people who call themselves the Bloods who are using force and uh, threats of force on others. And the state's no different except that they managed to get away with more violence than the average person could ever get away with because they've successfully brainwashed people by virtue of the fact that they run indoctrination camps. Liberty Phoenix, thank you for your call tonight. I appreciate your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. You know, I get what you're saying, uh, but the, the state's just a concept. That's all it is. Right, and we can disabuse you, people of that concept. You can pretend that it doesn't exist all you want, People still die from bombs that get dropped by little robot airplanes. Yep. People still go to prison. Absolutely. You can pretend that doesn't happen, did I but say it that does. I, did I say that doesn't happen? Or are you talking to the, you, the listener? Just anybody. They, I know people that they're like, well, if I just pretend that it doesn't happen, then I won't get arrested. Yeah, you can't ignore the people that call themselves the state. That is, Some people uh, try. That is going to end in severe disappointment for you. Uh, 855 450 free. They refuse to be ignored. It's Free Talk Live. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. Get educated. We use coins.com. Hey, it's Guy Fieri. If there are good times going on and you're not part of them because of heartburn, get back in the game by rolling out the Roll Aids. Don't let heartburn keep you from enjoying the things you love. Roll Aids gets you back in the action fast. Its dual active formula neutralizes more acid than Tums. For acid indigestion, upset stomach, and heartburn, get rapid relief with Roll Aids. R O L A I D S? Now that's how you spell relief. Use as directed. Acid neutralization may not correlate with symptom relief. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, 
scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want right here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Still to come up, disturbing news. About a study uh, that's going to appearing in the journal Neuroimage about reading your mind. We'll get to that. Also, coffee.freetalklive.com is where you can go to get a pound for free of the best of the best coffee from BuzzBox. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. And coffee is a very absorbent crop, which means the organic certification on this particular plant is that much more important. Now, BuzzBox is a special company. They're doing something really unique that other coffee uh, producers just aren't doing. They have created a program that allows people around the world to buy into their coffee co-op. And Free Talk Live is recruiting listeners like you to order their coffee, your coffee, from coffee.freetalklive.com, which allows us to finance microloans. So it's basically for every 10 listeners that order uh, coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com, we can finance a microloan. So we're looking to get 1,000 listeners total uh, to finance 100 microloans through World Vision. Oh, my goodness, that's awfully loud. Usually when the music comes crashing in like that, it means that something has gone drastically wrong with... The uh, connection to the network, and uh, so hopefully we will be able to, yes, uh, we do have, we're going to have to connect to uh, our network in an alternative manner. Uh, Daryl Vam for just a moment about mind reading. Well, you know, I don't really know a whole lot about mind reading, but I've seen some videos on telepathy, and I know that that's not exactly what this uh thing is that you're talking about what what you have is a story about computers that have somehow been programmed to like i i guess read and interpret brain waves and i know that there's a way to do that because i've had scans of my brain after one of my concussions a couple of years ago they put this thing on my head that's kind of like a cap, and then they put little things that connected onto the skull, and mm-hmm. they flashed light patterns at my eyes to get certain responses, and they were able to somehow detect what things in the brain activate when certain patterns are seen, and then they said, try to fall asleep, and they were able to detect you know, what sort of sleep I was in. But they couldn't project my thoughts or figure out what I was thinking. So They're working on that. In fact, I've got news about that. Uh, welcome back, radio listeners. Apparently we had some problems with our ISDN line, and uh, we are now reconnected. So I want to remind you, though, I don't think I finished telling you about coffee.freetalklive.com. Go there. You can get a free pound of coffee. Just pay the shipping cost, and it is yours. You can cancel your subscription at any time. If for some reason you are disappointed, but so far everyone I've talked to that has uh, tried BuzzBox Coffee is a fan. So go and give it a shot for yourself at coffee.freetalklive.com. You can help make other people's lives better around the world through those loans that your coffee buying habit is funding through World Vision from BuzzBox. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com to get started with that. Now, again, if you want to chime in here on whatever you'd like to talk about, uh, we've been all over the map so far tonight, from cops that want to have sex with prostitutes to upgrading your audio quality of your phone calls to us, Bitcoin mining, Porcupine Freedom Festival, tax revolts, anything goes here on Free Talk Live at 855-450-FREE. So here's the news, which just is, I have to say, I'm surprised we're already to this point. Uh, Foxnews.com reporting, think mind reading is science fiction? Think again. Scientists have used brain scanners to detect and reconstruct the faces that people are thinking of, according to a study accepted for publication this month in the journal Neuroimage. 
In the study, scientists hooked up participants to an fMRI brain scanner, which determines activity in different parts of the brain by measuring blood flow and showed them images of people's faces. Then, using only the brain scans, the scientists were able to create images of the faces of the people that they were that, of the faces that were being looked at by the subjects in the test. Okay, so do you understand what's going on here? Okay, let, let, let me see if I understand this correctly. For example, and I know that they didn't actually show Mark, Ian, and Daryl, but okay. let's pretend that they did. So you've got some science guy that has three photos, and he shows one of the subjects a photo. And then the computer was able to draw a picture of either Mark, Ian, or Daryl based on what the photo the person was looking at. Based on the MRI scans that resulted from the person looking at right. the photo. Right, so let, let's say that you're the test subject, yeah. and I show you a picture of Mark. That's right. You're looking at a picture of Mark, and somebody's scanning your brain, and then there's a computer hooked up to the thing scanning your brain, Yes. and that computer draws a picture of Mark. Or some sort of near facsimile to Mark. It's not perfect at this point. Uh, in fact, we'll put a link up on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter here what, a little what bit. What would be even better and a better test of this, instead of giving these people, you know, here's a photo that I want you to look at, and then my computer's going to redraw it? Because somebody could very easily program the computer to, all right, here's three different pictures and he's going to think of one of these and you draw mm. which one just you know like think of daisies think about daisies ian yeah I'm and pretty then sure this... the mri is going to have a hard time you know right i'm pretty sure this computer is designed to draw faces and things like that so that may be one of the restrictions on this on this project i'm just saying with, with faces and even it okay Think about your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That's going to be an extra level of uh, variable to the computer that's drawing stuff based on the MRI. Because the computer isn't going to know what your girlfriend looks like. The computer, somebody's probably already programmed in, here's the pictures that we're showing people. Um, I'm not real sure about that. Let me give you more information from the story here. I'm skeptical so far. It's mind reading, said Alan S. Cohen, a graduate student at the University of California, Berkeley, who co-authored the study with Professor Marvin Chun from Yale and Bryce Cool from New York University. Uh, this study says it is the first to try to reconstruct faces from thoughts. The photos are actual photos. The photos that I'll link to you here on our social networking sites here shortly are the actual photos and the reconstructions of them done in the lab. While the reconstructions based on 30 brain readings are blurry, they approximate the true images. They got the skin color right in all of them, and 24 out of 30 reconstructions correctly detected the presence or the absence of a smile. The brain readings were worse at determining gender and hair color. About two-thirds of the reconstructions clearly detected the gender, and only half got the hair color correct. So there's definitely room for improvement, said Cowan, adding that these experiments were conducted two years ago, though they only recently were accepted for publication. He said that he and others have been working on improving the process in the interim. I'll tell you more about this pretty shocking story about reading people's minds with uh, computer technology. More on the way here. You can take control of the airwaves. This is Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE is our number. You dial in and bring up anything. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. National experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo. A must-be-there event. Presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. 
Network, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free, it doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MineThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MineThings.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves right here. Toll free number 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And of course, you can always join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out that way. If you don't mind, it usually sounds better than your cell phone. Or even if you have a cell phone, using Skype on the cell phone sounds better than just a regular old phone call. So feel free to connect that way as well. And you know, most people want to get ahead in life. And nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade more people towards the idea of freedom. Unless, of course, you hate freedom, in which case you probably won't care. Uh, But did you actually know that some of the solutions that claim to help you grow actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. Dr. Matt Barney, the founder of LeaderAmp, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what works. Dr. Barney's drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application 
to measure each person and tailor a customized developmental plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone. His vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, you'll also be able to compare your leadership with famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs to help you see they weren't perfect but overcame their own limitations with practice. The app isn't quite ready yet. It's being built. But if you want to help advance an approach to grow freedom lovers' persuasion skills, we'd love for you to join the community. Feel free to pre-order on Indiegogo at leaderamp.freetalklive.com. Amp your leadership by going to leaderamp.freetalklive.com. And so our toll-free number again here is 855-450-FREE. We're talking about a disturbing story. Fox News is reporting on what is expected to be a, pu- a study published in the journal, uh, journal NeuroImage, where they've hooked people up to an fMRI brain scanner. They've shown them pictures of people's faces. They've used the readings from the brain scanner to actually reconstruct the photos of the people's faces that the people were looking at. And the story goes on here from Fox News saying there's room for improvement because there were some mistakes. You know, there wasn't it wasn't a perfect picture, perfect uh, view of of what actually was was being shown to the people. But they got the gender right most of the time, the supermajority of the time. Well, and you have to also take into consideration that people are going to see things a little differently, and people are also going to allow their biases to alter in their mind what it is that they see. Mm -hmm. So I could look at you, and if I know that I'm being tested for this thing to print out a picture of whatever it is that I'm looking at, I'm going to intentionally try to trick this thing. And all right, Ian, right now you've got a big, long Pinocchio nose. So I see in my mind that you've got a big, long Pinocchio you would nose. Pers- you would try to monkey wrench this uh, this study, is what you're saying. If I knew that that's what it was doing, yes. I see. So um, according to the story, the uh, he says uh, the, the person who's behind the study says they've been working on this for a couple of years since the study was actually done a couple of years ago, and they're saying it's gotten better. He says, I'm applying more sophisticated mathematical models to the brain scan results, so the results should get better. To tease out faces based on brain activity, the scientist showed participants in the study 300 faces while recording their brain activity. They then showed the participants 30 new faces and used their previously recorded patterns to create 30 images based only on their brain scans. Once the technology improves, he said, applications could range from better understanding mental disorders to recording dreams to solving crimes. You can see how people perceive faces depending on different disorders like autism and use that to help diagnose therapies, he said. That's because reconstructions, uh, the reconstructions are based not on actual the actual image, but on how the image is perceived by a subject's brain. If an autistic person sees a face differently, the difference will show up in the brain scan reconstruction. Images from dreams, he says, are also detectable, which is crazy to really even imagine that being the case. As you can imagine, he says, way down the road, a witness to a crime might want to come in and reconstruct a suspect's face. How soon could that happen? It really depends on advances in brain imaging technology, more so than the mathematical analysis. Could be 10, 20 years away. One challenge is that different brains show different activity for the same image. The blurry images pictured in the story, which I've linked to over on our Facebook, Google+, and uh, Twitter, so you can see these for yourself, are actually averages of the thoughts of six different lab volunteers. If one were to look at any individual's reading, the image would be less consistent. And I would imagine that's because of, you know, the way people perceive things. Like, you know, I might be more likely to notice someone's eyes in one picture versus their mouth right. in another picture. And that that's part of what I was saying. Yeah. Of, you know, people will look at things and they perceive it slightly differently. Or somebody could just try to monkey wrench the thing and, you know, imagine that Ian has a really large Pinocchio nose. Or I could notice that, Ian, you've got an ever so slight red patch on your chin or not your chin on your cheek. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could focus on the red patch on your cheek. Right. And turn me into a red face drunk. And then that's all that the thing is going to see. 
But going to the crime investigation part, which aside is the creep, from is the creepy aspect. Well, of aside this. from being creepy, it's also not very reliant. Certainly not. Because people misremember things all the time. Constantly. Witness testimony is not really that great. I was watching a YouTube video a couple of days ago, and it was titled, Would You Be a Good Witness? And it starts off, it's a still photo, and it says, look at this photo and pay attention to everything that's going on in the photo. And... Then you have to recall later? No, they, they don't even ask you to recall later. They say, when the cops show up, can you describe to them what's happening? Even though, at the beginning of this video, the suspect's jacket was this color. Throughout the 45-second video, they were slowly, slowly changing the hue of the jacket. So at the end, it was purple. It began as red. But because it was so slow, you didn't notice. Hmm. And the point was, you might not remember what you think you remember. So some people would report his jacket being red. Others would report it being purple, that kind of thing. Right. So... You know, if you're then going off of, all right, let's read your brain. Well, it's then going to be, you know, taking an interpretation of what is probably not a very accurate recollection of what happened. But the thing that I find most, most interesting is the whole, let's remember your dreams aspect of this mind reading thing. Because I, I try to remember my dreams and sometimes i do a lot mm-hmm. of times i don't but generally if i remember a dream it was one that was just really really strange like a couple of mornings ago i woke up at like 3 45 and i actually posted on facebook i'm awake and i have no clue why mm-hmm. but i'm gonna try going back to sleep now and then i fell asleep and dreamed that i was awake and that there were cats running around <laughs> In my bed. One of them was possibly Mark's Siamese cat. Okay. It was definitely a Siamese cat. Did he poop in your bed? Because that's usually a hint that it's Mark's cat. No, he didn't. Okay, it wasn't his. And then there was a little ginger kitty. Mm Mm-hmm. But I dreamed I was awake playing with cats. Yeah, see, I normally don't even remember my dreams. Uh, and you know, if it's uh, if I remember anything, it'll be right as soon as I wake up, and I would have to write it down because a day later I couldn't tell you what I what I dreamed the night before. They just don't stick with me. Like but I that. really only remembered that because it was right after I woke up, and then I dreamed that I couldn't fall asleep. It would be pretty weird to be able to re- uh, to record one's dreams and then go back and watch your dreams again. I mean, it would be bizarre and seems almost like a waste of time. You already dreamed it. Why would you want to watch it again? Uh, so we can tell you more here in moments and also take your thoughts about the idea that the technology is apparently here today where your thoughts can be turned into pictures. 855 450 free. Where will this be in another 10 years? You can take control here on Free Talk Live. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. 
And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American Empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and apparently doctors, scientists, are now able to reconstruct images from your Thoughts. Disturbing news coming from a study that is about to be published in the journal NeuroImage. We'll continue with a little bit more about that, and you are welcome to share your thoughts as well at 855-450 free. Then a different study is uh, really good news about marijuana legalization. We can share that with you. Uh, of course, you can take control of the airwaves. 855-450 free or Skype on in at username lrn.fm. And don't forget that Free Talk Live is supported by listeners just like you through the Free Talk Live AMP program. You can AMP over at amp.freetalklive.com. We're doing an, a fundraiser uh, with the AMP program to help us do some Google AdWords uh, to reach out to non-libertarians, people who maybe uh, are just looking for talk radio to listen to because we've successfully on Free Talk Live brought people from the realms of conservatism or progressivism all the way to the ideas of liberty. We've done it uh, multiple times over the years, and that's one of the reasons why we're on a bunch of radio stations is so people can randomly encounter the show. It's all well and good when somebody's looking for libertarian talk radio online and they find Free Talk Live. That's great. We appreciate people who already believe in freedom coming into our audience, but one of the real values of Free Talk Live is as an outreach tool, as a way to reach people who have not come across the ideas of liberty or have come across people who are inconsistent in their application of them, people who claim to be libertarians but aren't in point of fact actually libertarians like a bevy of talk show hosts like to claim to be libertarian, for instance. Uh, So the Free Talk Live AMP program can help bring new minds to the ideas of freedom. Just go to 
amp.freetalklive.com to become a Free Talk Live amplifier. Today, you can do it for five bucks a month. And because of this matching fundraiser that we have, thanks to some very dedicated listeners of the program, uh, we are able to offer matching dollars up to $950 per month. We've got around, ooh, actually, we just. I think we took a dive because there was one guy who gave us like 250 bucks a month, and he had to cut back to 25 bucks a month. So we're we're down oh. we're down a little bit on our fundraising. I actually need to run the numbers this weekend and find out how far down uh, we are. But uh, you can help us get back up there for five bucks a month. You'll become essentially you'll be a five dollar a month amplifier, and our matching contributors will contribute another five bucks as well. Or if you want to be in a ten dollar a month amp, you can become a gold amp, and then you'll get another ten bucks matched in as well. So you can help us do Google AdWords outreach uh, with bringing new people to the ideas of freedom. Go to amp.freetalklive.com to learn more about that. Learn about the perks you'll get access to as well as a Free Talk Live amplifier. So we are talking a little bit more about the technology behind this study that has uh, pieced together people's photos that uh, the participants in the study were being shown these pictures and their thoughts were being essentially read by a functional MRI machine. The computer that was then hooked up to this machine interpreted these brain patterns and interpret them visually as people's faces. And there were some pretty stunning results where they're not dead on accurate sharp, but some of them kind of look like the uh, some of the computer patterns that are, have come out of this study kind of look like the original photo. Some of them not so much, but they got the skin color right. They got the gender right. In a lot of cases, they got whether the person was smiling right. And this is a very early interpretation or a very early uh, use of this technology. One of the scientists in the study says there's a wide variation in how people's brains work under a scanner. Some people have better brains for fMRI. And so if you were to pick a participant at random, it might be that their reconstructions are really good or it might be that their reconstructions are really poor, which is why we averaged across all of the participants. For now, he added, you shouldn't worry about others snooping on your memories or forcibly extracting information. This sort of technology can only read active parts of the brain, so you couldn't read passive memories. You would have to get the person to imagine the memory in order to read it. It's a matter of so by passive memory, the storage that, that's anything that you're not currently thinking of. Correct, whatever okay. your your storage is, if you will, your memory banks, so to speak. It's a matter of time, and eventually says the scientist, maybe 200 years from now we'll have some way of reading inactive parts of the brain. But that's a much harder problem as it involves measuring very fine details of brain structure that we don't even really understand. So, pretty fascinating stuff. I don't know, Daryl, if you had taken a look yet at the uh, the pictures in this I, case. I have not yet had a chance. So, I have linked to this. If you go to our Free Talk Live Facebook page, you can go to news.freetalklive.com and link over to our Facebook, Twitter, or our Google Plus from that page. And I put the link on all three of them. You can go and you can take a look at the original photo, what it was that people were looking at, and then what it was was an average of what six people, so six people who were looking at that same photo, the brain scans of those people averaged together, and what that resulted in. And it's pretty impressive for the first time out, for the first study that's ever been produced of this sort. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Let's go to the phones. Dave is in Montana. He is on Skype on Free Talk Live. Hey, Dave. Hey, yo. Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Hey, this uh, technology, we're getting to see the primal technology of transhumanization, man. That's what it is. With this technology, though, right, if, if you could, they'll be able to, like, you could activate a computer from a distance through your brain by looking at something and copying it or, uh, you know, pictures taking pictures filming you know it i the trend there's big 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 technology wanting to join the computer and the human brain mm -hmm. and and i think this is one of the first technologies that are entering that realm they call it transhumanization 
Yeah, we're going to see more of that over time. Uh, there was a study not too long back about uh, hooking up computer nodes to uh, to a mouse's brain and having it control a video game. Where I where I think they'll break through most likely is with games. Mm -hmm. You'll have you'll have a game like holo holograph room where you'll be able to generate, <laughs> and then and then it just gets to the to the max as like the matrix where you plug in where you jack you know? <laughs> in with the, right into your mind in fact yeah. i actually had I'm, I'm glad you brought that update because i had news about the virtual reality world is finally getting back into production Oculus, uh, I mean, in fact oop, there's available. some audio right there that i didn't expect to play i love it when web pages just start playing audio all over the place the chip the chip man they got these chips now that are flexible that they could put in your body real easy and stuff you oh know? yeah that's all and, coming, and, and uh, I I don't like it. It's so you're not gonna you're not gonna jack in. You're not gonna get the you know no, get the man, brain no, jack. That's like the nano stuff too. That nanotechnology <laughs> is like you can't see it, man. I think they you and Daryl would get along. I think Daryl is also opposed to the. Uh, body. I'm a human being. I'm a human being. I'm flesh and bone, man. That that has no place in our body. That, and and then that's how they take full control mm. of the selling and the buying. Because that's how they control us through selling and buying, and and if you read the the end of the world, they're supposed to make a mark where everybody has to take it, so you can't buy or sell without it. See, so they telling us that selling and buying is the way they control us. So as soon as human, well, I don't do know if away, I agree with you there, Dave. As soon, as soon as human beings do away with selling and buying, we will never crawl out of the hole. That we're in. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with you there. I don't think there's anything wrong with buying and selling things. I mean, otherwise That's you have to trade. That's how they control us. That's how they control us. And then they're going to give us this mark or this transhumanization <laughs> to where you ain't going to need the money and you won't be able to sell or buy without transhumanization. Without well, it's an trans interesting theory. Uh, and I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I understand where you're coming from. I understand the concerns. I certainly don't want any government being able to force me to do things I don't want to do more so than they already do. And if that were the result of uh, of taking on computer chips and uh, nanotechnology augmentation of one's body, then I certainly wouldn't be interested in that. But if the result is the opposite of what you're saying, and that in fact it somehow can provide us with more freedom, then uh, well, that they, would certainly they, interest they, me. They can hide behind the curtain like they always do. They hide behind the curtain of religion. They hide behind the curtain of government, patriotism. They hide behind the the uh, the curtain of the GMOs. They're going to save the world and feed everybody. You know, feed the world, but in actuality, our our bodies can't recognize what the heck they're feeding us. Thanks, Dave, for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you with your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. There remains plenty of time for you and yours, and I want to get Daryl's thoughts more on the whole transhumanism thing when we come back. You know my thoughts. I don't like it. Yeah, I know that much, but our listeners may not know, and so we can get into that. Your call's welcome as well. You can call in on Skype. Username there, lrn.fm. Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE. Hour 3 is next. You take control here on Free Talk Live. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand-scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three-quarter inch pre-finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22-month special financing is available. So go to LumberLiquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. Quantum Vibe It's year 2523 There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed With brain implants and artificial gravity A scientific genius and his clever assistant Set out on an adventure through the solar system On a secret mission to find the key To access new frontiers and save liberty QuantumVibe.com From Big Head Press 
Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference, one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,288. Silver opened at $19.67. While Bitcoin is trading at $514.35. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Giga Hash Bitcoin Miner. No pre order, ships on time. Sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. Support also comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online, affordablesound.com or call them 512-459-5253. And support is shown from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, online at SovereignBTC.com. In the news, Middleton, Idaho has unanimously voted to ban the implementation of indefinite detention, as outlined in the 2012 National Defense Authorization Act. In a vote of 4 to nothing, the city passed a resolution making Middleton the fifth city in the nation and the second in Idaho to ban indefinite detention. Sections 1021 and 1022 of the 2012 NDAA authorize indefinite military detention of any person without charge or trial. Legal troubles for an anti-gun California state senator. The San Jose Mercury News is reporting that Democratic Senator Leland Yee has been indicted for conspiracy to traffic in firearms without license and to illegally import firearms. He also faces six counts of corruption, which allegedly involved handing out favors for campaign contributions. Yee is described as one of the most outspoken California lawmakers against gun rights. On March 20th, over 25 technology companies signed onto a public letter asking Senator Ron Wyden to oppose fast-track authority for trade agreements, such as the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Wyden, the new chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, has already spoken in favor of transparency for the TPP negotiations. The company is asking Wyden to use his new position to reject fast-track, also known as Trade Promotion Authority, which gives the White House more power and influence over international trade agreements. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. Dorothy can walk you through the ins and outs of buying a home. Give her a call, 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. Support also comes from Soleil School, enrolling children age 5 through 10 in Austin. Visit soleilschool.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014, Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The government of Turkey on Thursday banned YouTube, just days after doing the same with Twitter. CNN reports the YouTube ban is due to a leak of a conversation between top government officials discussing the possibility of war with Syria. The conversation has also been banned from broadcast on Turkish television and radio. Armed guards could soon be coming to airport security checkpoints. The Transportation Security Administration has made that request, included in a 25-page report released to Congress Wednesday. The Associated Press reports 14 recommendations are included in the report, among them the armed guard scenario. The report does state that trained police officers and not TSA agents would serve as the armed guards. The Electronic Frontier Foundation is declaring April 4th a nationwide day of action. 
to call attention to Internet censorship in public libraries and public schools. In collaboration with the MIT Center for Civic Media and the National Coalition Against Censorship, EFF will host a digital T-chant to educate and promote resistance to the use of Internet filters on library computers. Currently, under the Children's Internet Protection Act, libraries are required to accept federal funds to adopt an Internet safety policy that filters websites and blocks software on public and staff computers. Originally designed to filter pornography and content that could be harmful to minors, the EFF claims the law has resulted in unnecessary censorship of constitutionally protected websites. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal Printing, your source for anything printed since 1972, now accepting Bitcoin, online at MassAppealLink.com. And support comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. We're being attacked by news from all sides in tonight's News Blitz. Now we're homing in on Houston, Texas, where NASA announced today that the crew of the International Space Station has successfully completed their 13-year mission studying man's ability to constantly repair a large object in space. NASA officials hailed the remarkable feat of maintenance at a press conference this afternoon. And throughout human history, man has gazed at the stars and dreamed of fixing something up there. People once thought the ultimate feat in human repair was a really big boat. Today, we've accomplished so much more. This comes in the wake of NASA's previous success, finding out how many times an astronaut could hold something in his hand, then let it go, watch it float in front of his face for a bit, then catch it again. All right, dust yourself off. You have survived the news blitz. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow morning to Today Now. We'll look back at Jim's week as a polygamist. Oh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want here as we launch into the third hour of the program. The toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. We just had, at the very end of the second hour, Dave call in from Montana. And uh, he was sharing some concerns that he has about transhumanism. Uh, the idea of bringing people together with computers. Uh, augmenting the human body with technology. Obviously, we do this to some extent already. I mean, my dad has a pacemaker, for instance, which is some level of augmenting one's body with uh, computer technology. So take that to the next level and you get nanotechnology, which some are saying could result in having these little little guys swimming around your body that could, in theory, repair damage or augment your system in some way. But I don't think that that's what people mean when they say transhumanism. That's a step. No, no, it's a whole process, right? So that's a step on this kind of long running treadmill or not whatever you want to call it uh this long running path towards uh towards getting to essentially a, a, a robot body i mean that would be that's what people mean when they say that's transhuman the end game. that's the end game okay so uh, there are steps that you go through on the way to get to that point of augmenting yourself with technology essentially being a cyborg on the process of getting to uh, a true robot body or downloading one's consciousness onto the internet or something like that where, where the exact end game is is really hard to predict but those are a couple of options that some i think have put out there as an idea so are you saying daryl that you're okay with the idea of nanotechnology and having little swimmers in your body fixing things that go wrong I've heard so many different things about nanotechnology i don't really know what it is so i can't really form an opinion about something that I don't fully understand. And when I say fully understand, like I comprehend what transhumanism is. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense to me from a logical perspective, but I comprehend <laughs> what it is. So nanotechnology, because there's so many different definitions yeah. and whatnot. I can't comprehend what people mean when they say it. So I can't form an opinion on the nanotechnology stuff. I can't say I'm an expert, Daryl. I certainly have not done any more than. But a the level whole of 
I want to become a robot thing just makes absolutely no logical sense. Well, I don't but know But I about comprehend that. what people mean when they want to do it. <laughs> if you want to become sense? a robot, go ahead. <laughs> but don't saying... like say, this is what every human must do. I, did I say that every human must do you something? You haven't, but some people have said that. Okay, well, I don't know who those people are. Uh, but I think that as an individual, there are some attractive things about augmenting oneself with technology. If that means going all the way to true, uh, bec- truly becoming a robot, uh, that's an interesting possibility to me. I, I can't say I'm necessarily 100% on board with it, but I also like the idea of not having to spend whole, a whole lot of time in the bathroom. I mean, humans spend a whole lot of time uh, sitting on the porcelain throne. Okay. But and taking Ian, care of these very imagine, fragile bodies. Imagine being alive forever. <laughs> That's what you're wanting with well, the whole, I want to just keep uploading myself to the internet <laughs> and then download myself into a robot body. That's not necessarily uh, something that would have to be true. If you wanted to end your life, you could just take your own life. Presumably, it wouldn't necessarily be that you'd have to live forever. Like, you could get bored, right? right. Like if you're I'm just saying, like, you know, like, all right, I've seen enough of this. I'm done. You, know, you could pull the just plug. Think about it and, you know, like, staying alive forever. Yeah, it, it's going to be a very boring thing after about a million years. And <laughs> then know. there's going to be for sure. so many people that are, or I don't even know if they're going to be people. But sure. they're going to be entities, and they're all going to be floating around on the internet. And there's only so much internet porn that you can watch, Ian. Oh, it'll be so funny if somebody plays this episode back in another hundred years, and we'll see how wrong you are, Daryl. Because I uh, I don't know, to, to, to be able to predict what things will be like even out a hundred years is pretty hard, let alone a I'm not a, predicting a what they're going to be like. I'm just You're saying, saying it'll be boring. You said it'll be boring. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be immensely interesting. If you've because... lived for so long. Yeah. Because in a lot of ways, you're still going to be, you know, in like the late 1990s, early 2000s sort of mindset. The only reason you'd and, want to live that long is a it was thousand years. You're going to be the really grouchy old guy. Get off my lawn! I don't think so. The only reason you would want to live that long is if it were worth living that long. If it weren't living that long, you pull the plug. If it's been a thousand years and you realize, okay, this isn't getting better. You know, humans are not... Uh, living in peace and harmony and love and there's still war and it's it's not getting better. No, pull the plug then. Toll free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Also, some people are going to be living in their own reality, uh, virtual reality. Some people already do live in their own reality. Well, it's going to get easier soon with the new technology for virtual reality. We can talk a little bit about that coming up here in a moment. Maybe you want to comment on transhumanism. You're certainly welcome to uh, to jump into the discussion. Is there a certain level of this tr- this process towards computerization of one's body that... Is a turn off like you okay if you're okay with uh, little nano technology things moving around in your body fixing you, then are you also okay with the idea of becoming a robot completely? Or what's is there something in between the the two uh, things there that uh, you know that becomes a turn off for you? At what point do you say no? I've got enough computing power in my body. I'm I'm going to go ahead and call it. Uh, let's go to Luke, though. You can bring up anything you want. Luke, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Daryl. Hey, Ian. Hey, Daryl. How are you guys doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Um, about the technology in question that kind of brought up this whole discussion, um, I'm reminded of, I don't know how familiar you guys are with the series, but I'm reminded of the uh, Assassin's Creed video game series. Um, a lot of people, it gets kind of lost in the glitz and glam of all the the killing and whatnot, but the general premise of the game is um, there's like this monolithic corporation in the future that actually sinks a machine to an individual's body. And then that machine reads memories hidden within that individual's DNA. Mm -hmm. And then um, through those memories, they're actually able to reconstruct their ancestors environment. Um, And then they explore that environment and find things out about the ancestors. Um, and there's a lot more to it than that, but I think that's kind of interesting because that's almost kind of what the tech, like the technology you guys were discussing, 
Um, yeah, it's a cool game. I played one of the Assassin's Creed games, and and I did enjoy that. So when you first look at the game, you know, if you just look at the preview picks or whatever, it looks like you're just kind of playing this old game where you know you're going around in the olden times and assassinating people. But it really does have this kind of larger technological uh, plot line to it, which is very interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, and it does it it does kind of transcend above the whole, you know, being in the old timey thing. And I've always, I mean, I always thought it was pretty fascinating. I mean, if you could walk around in your great great grandfather's body, you know, be it digitally or physically or however it may manifest itself, would you do it? Just just to experience the olden days, I mean, it would be interesting for a little yeah. while at least. So, I mean, it's kind of fascinating, but then at the same time too, you know, it's it's cool because in this in the series they bring in, you know, the um, you know, would there be dangers of like a, a mental collapse where the, you know, the subject loses a grasp on what is and isn't reality mm. and all that. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really pretty interesting, but that's my two cents. I just thought it was kind of a cool correlation between the two. Cool, man. Thanks for sharing that, Luke. Appreciate your call and the thoughts tonight. So since we're talking about technology, uh, there was a news story earlier this week that I found very interesting. I had not heard about this. Apparently, I'm one of the few people who had not, at least in my circle of, uh, of friends. Oculus VR. You heard about these guys? Oculus? I saw something with the name, but I have no clue what it is, who they are, or what they do. Yeah, that was pretty much me up until this week when Facebook decided they were going to pay $2 billion to buy Oculus VR Incorporated. And that was what put them on my radar. I saw this news being passed around. People, the, the response from people was essentially, no! That was Johnson's response from uh, our Free Talk Live uh, Thursday night co-host. He thinks it's terrible news because Facebook is this behemoth company and ex- they're not expecting good things to come from this. But the tech is interesting. We'll talk about their virtual reality set here in a moment. You can take control on Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. If you're looking for work, there's a piece of paper more important than your resume. It's the cover letter attached if you're snail mailing or the email to which you attach your resume. Make it four short paragraphs. Paragraph one, say that you're applying for work. The person you're sending to gets a ton of mail about all sorts of things. If you have a password, that's your first sentence. Tom Nelson tells me you and I should meet. 
Paragraph two, what you do and how that relates to the opening. Be as specific as possible. Paragraph three, why you want this particular job. I'm originally from Boston, so I know the market well. I have family and friends in the area, so this would be a homecoming for me. Paragraph four, unless the job posting stipulates no calls, and I will call you to follow up. Thank you in advance for your time. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you, uh, is on your mind. Talk about transhumanism. If you are against the idea, would love to hear why. Daryl is against it. He says it's illogical. And I don't know what about it is illogical. People want to live longer. They see this as a way for them to live longer. It seems pretty logical. Okay, living longer and living forever. Because before you've said <laughs> it'll allow you to live forever. It could in theory, sure. But then you said if you get bored with it, you can pull the plug. Why shouldn't you be able to? That's not the same as this will make you live forever. Oh, I, I see what you're saying, that there's some level of inconsistency between those statements, but not, not yes, necessarily. Yes, there's, there's a you lot of live, inconsistency between those statements. You could live forever until you pull the plug, and then you aren't living anymore. Then that's not forever. No, it wouldn't be. You would have changed your mind and decided that you did not want to then live forever. Then it's not forever. <laughs> and of course, if the sun explodes or whatever, then you're not going to make it through that either. Right? So how about this? You would live until the sun, uh, the sun dies. Although, I guess if you were in a robot body, maybe it wouldn't matter so much to have the sun around. I don't know. Maybe yeah. You'd be able to get like, <laughs> you don't need the sun unless you're a solar-powered robot. Right. Are um, you going to be a, be a solar-powered <laughs> robot, Ian? I, I don't know, Darryl, Are you going to be a wind-generated robot? I can't say for sure I would want to live forever. I like the idea of living longer. I like the idea of not having 60, 70, 80 years or whatever the, you know, the standard length of time is for for males these days uh, what what it will be by the time we're at, uh, at that age range i don't know maybe okay, it'll be 90 but let, let's just say that you know becoming a you know part human part robot extends life expectancy from mm-hmm. currently it's like you know say 70 years yep. let's say that it extends that to where the average is 170 years based on how humans have changed you know adulthood and childhood just from when the average life expectancy was 40 then adolescence or childhood is going to extend to say 50 (laughs) instead of right now they're already trying to say you're a child until you're 26 years old for insurance purposes yeah it's crazy so then childhood's just going to extend then you'll have be uh, getting and then, charged for statutory rape at age forty eight or something. Yeah, the, like the that. amount of years that you work probably won't extend that much longer than what people generally work now, and then you'll just retire at one hundred and thirty. Well, no, it's hard. I mean, it's hard to say because presumably you'll work if from fifty to one thirty, and then you retire at one thirty and die at one seventy. You're presuming that things will continue in the same trend as they are today, and there's well, no based reason for on that historical evidence. Yes, but the past performance is no indicator of what the will happen in the future. Not necessarily, but you know, if you're guessing what's going to happen in the future, 
The only way that you can really do that is to look at previous trends. Well, I understand where you're coming from, but I don't necessarily agree that that's the way things would go. It's certainly possible that... uh, That's all I'm saying is that it's possible and very likely. I don't know how likely it is. It's also possible that the augmentation to your body would mean that you don't grow older beyond a certain point of maturity. So therefore, the body would not necessarily get uh, brittle and broken you know, by age 65 or whatever. So you may be in your, you know, you may be able to look like you're in your prime, your your late 20s or early 30s for 150 years or for 200 years. Okay, well, if you're considered a child until you're 50, then... That's that's your idea. I did not suggest that. That's my speculation based on historical evidence. Well, I would hope that we start going in a different direction where young people are more respected as far as their decisions are concerned. I understand that there are people who would like the idea of preserving childhood all the way through the the 20s, which plenty of college students act like children, so there's no doubt that there's a large push for this. Uh, but I would rather live in a in a world in which people are are able to take responsibility for their own decisions and be entrepreneurs early on in life. And instead of being stuck in this government school system, they can get out and get into the world and start learning skills and and you know develop the things that they think are important to them. And if we create a society where those ideas are uh, are important to the people in that society, then that'll be what's the reality, at least in that part of the world. And I think we're bringing people together here as far as New Hampshire's Free State Project, who actually do share similar ideas of encouraging young people to be more mature sooner rather than later, and that value those ideas. You know, Whether that will end up having a long-term effect, I don't know. Time will tell. Let's talk about your calls and thoughts here coming up. Our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. And then virtual reality is hitting the scene again. Back in the 1990s, there were movies about virtual reality. The Lawnmower Man was uh, was one of them. And so there, were, there was some level of interest in this back in the early into uh, mid-90s. And it just seemed to kind of fall off the radar. Well, now it's back. And we'll tell you more about it coming up here in moments. Also, I want you to imagine being able to spend your Bitcoins with a credit card through a completely decentralized, non-bank system. You swipe and Bitcoin is removed from your wallet. It makes Bitcoin just as easy to use as money in the meat space world. This technology would be pretty awesome, right? And it would be worth investing in. If you want to help out, you can go check out their Indiegogo campaign. You can actually get one of these credit cards at mybtc.cc. And again, they're not credit cards in that they work on credit. They just look like a credit card. They work on Bitcoins. Mybtc.cc. As we go to the phones and your calls and thoughts, let's talk to Charles in West Virginia. Charles, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Daryl. Good evening, fellas. Hey. How are you? What's on your mind, Charles? Oh, just thinking about the nanotechnology and stuff, yes, uh, I'd be kind of with it if it had helped my broke back heal, my wore out knees get better and stuff. But knowing man and his nature, how long would it be before we turned it into weapons of war? Well, yeah, that's absolutely a very scary uh, question, and I think that in order to have this level of uh, of human computer you know, com- combination that could extend life, uh, anything that can can help life, this level of technology could also be used to destroy it. And I think that uh, that your your concern is very valid. And I think that hopefully we will see the death of the state, this terrible idea that is used to destroy life all around the world. It's, I hopefully we'll see the end of the state prior to seeing the rise of transhumanism. Because otherwise, yeah, I have a real concern that this technology will be used to exterminate people. Well. Uh- Every technology that's come along in the last 300 years has uh, evolved to uh, exterminate people. It's a very legitimate concern, Charles. Any other thoughts you want to share tonight? Nuclear power. We could power the world with the sun and nuclear, but what do we use nuclear for? To frighten each other, frighten the world with. Yeah, it's true. And, of course, the government actually stands in the way of nuclear power development, at least in this country. Uh, Nuclear power plants are stuck 
in time, basically technologically back in the 1970s. It's almost impossible to build new plants. There have been some amazing developments from what I've read over in Asia uh, with nuclear power devices, making them smaller, making them have no moving parts, uh, making them just incredibly much more efficient. And we don't get to benefit from any of that over here, thanks to government regulation. Thanks, Charles, for your call and thoughts. Well, it's not only government regulation, but it's the you know utility industry being so dependent upon government handouts mm, that yeah. there is no innovation without the government handout. Well, part of the handout is the regulation in that in most areas, you don't get to choose from more than one power company, so there's virtually no competition to incentivize in innovation. And uh, that hurts everybody, but the power companies see it as a benefit because they get to be lazy. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. You take control. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Free Talk Live, the show where anyone can call about whatever they want. And we do mean anyone. No, I, I'm, I can understand the time cue, but the uh, what I know is wiser than anything else. Like God created one day, I've created four simultaneous days in one rotation of Earth. At what point did you become the wisest human, Gene Ray? Well, I've, I've learned everything. When you, when you know everything, there's nothing to know. Okay, well, now, you said you're getting ready to write a book on it. When can we expect to no, see it? No, I, I don't have a publisher yet. Uh, mm. uh, a lot of them won't even, won't even touch it. And so, uh, you touch but, it in the morning? Uh, well, it, well, sometimes, not much. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, G, uh, Dr. Gene Ray? I, I, I'm 78. Well, I told this black lady down in St. Pete, I said, when you die, you're going to come back as a white person. I said, I'm going to come back as a black person. I'm going to hate you, hawkies. <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman question said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. 
Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever you want here toll free. We've been talking generally for the last um, half hour of the show basically about transhumanism, this idea of combining humanness with robotness and maybe eventually being more robot than human all the way to becoming total robot things or maybe the other direction, maybe losing all of our physical wherewithal altogether and going into the machines in the form of consciousness being downloaded to the internet. But who knows what the end game of transhumanism will ultimately end up being. It is certainly something that is is under development. A lot of people are very interested in this. There's a there's a wing of Google where Ray Kurzweil, who's kind of this transhumanist uh, guru, so to speak, has been hired by Google to do more research into these areas. Fascinating stuff, whether you're interested in augmenting your body with computer chips and technology and nanomachines and things like that or not, it is going to be something to watch as time goes on. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and we've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. Coming up, more about virtual reality's comeback, uh, which I'm very pleased about. I was always interested in the 1990s in, in VR, but it never materialized in any meaningful consumer manner or in any affordable manner. And we'll tell you more about what's uh, what's on the plate, what's coming very, very soon, apparently. Actually, almost here now. But first, we'll tell you about blockchain.info, because whether or not you decide to augment yourself with technology, technology will certainly be beneficial to you, especially in the form of money. And that's what Bitcoin is all about. It's about taking... The power of money and putting it in your hands instead of the hands of bankers and governments around the world. Bitcoin does that. It is a decentralized currency and a financial transaction network that spans the world. There are millions of users, and it's becoming more and more popular over time. Right now, it seems like a good time to buy. It's down to like 500 bucks for a Bitcoin. It was around... 502 on the average this morning when I did the newscast. Yeah, and I think it was around 500 when we started the show tonight as well. Um, a few days ago, it was in the $650 range, so maybe a good time to buy. Of course, you never know what the future holds. Whatever the future holds for Bitcoin, uh, if you want to get into it, you need to have a wallet. That's step number one. Go to blockchain.info and you can get a free Bitcoin wallet today, plus there are really cool tools on the site. And uh, one of those tools allows you to actually send and receive anonymous uh, payments with Bitcoin. So check that out at blockchain.info. Get your Bitcoin wallet right now for free. Let's go to Robert in Vermont. You're on Free Talk Live. Robert. How are you guys? Welcome, sir. I don't, I don't you know that this whole thing doesn't really sound very comfortable. You're talking about becoming a robot? Yeah, you know, with wires and chips and stuff like that. And, I, I think I'd rather do, what do they call this? It's called cryogenics. That's where you would freeze yourself for a period of time and then unfreeze yourself. I think that that would be a little bit more realistic for me. Okay. Well, uh, you know? I, I think I saw a headline about that this week, too, that there's some company that's beginning experiments in that. Yeah, I, I didn't see that, but I missed it. But But if, but if I couldn't have any one of those things, you know, to die is really not a bad thing. I mean, I've I've gone through a you know a near death experience. It wasn't that bad at all. It was it was almost like uh, you know, like a uh, like a state of unconsciousness. It was very it was very peaceful, mm. you know, and it was very comfortable. Oh yeah, I've heard about that as well. I I'm not a I'm not afraid of death. It's certainly something that uh, I think people at some point in their lives will come to grips with that. You're probably not going to live forever. <laughs> You're probably going to die at some point. And all the stories are usually very, very pleasant of those who've had near-death experiences. It's you know a very warm sensation, and that you encounter uh, interesting and uh, enlightening things on the uh, on the journey, so to speak. And so, yeah. But nonetheless, I think as long as life is interesting, it's worth sticking around for. Absolutely. I mean, I want to live as long as I as I possibly can, but. You know, if my body gives out, well, then it gives out, you know. 
you know, maybe I'll come back uh, later on as like a dolphin or something. That would be interesting. Robert, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you at 855 free. So the company that we talked about briefly that Facebook has now purchased for $2 billion is Oculus VR. And they make what's called the Oculus Rift virtual reality gaming headset. According to the story at businessinsider.com, it is not until you try an Oculus headset that you realize why this new platform for games is obviously worth every penny of the $2 billion price tag. It's one of those rare products where describing it in mere words doesn't come anywhere near to realistically depicting how incredible the experience of wearing one is. Wait, hold on. This Oculus thing, they're the ones that recently had like a Kickstarter or Indiegogo they campaign. They did have something about that. Raised yes. a lot of money. And then as soon as their fundraiser thing was over, they wound up selling to Facebook. I don't know how soon after the fundraiser was over, but yes, that is essentially what has happened with this okay. company. Uh, so this guy is pretty blown away by and his And the $2 billion was what Facebook paid for the company. That's correct. Not, not how what much it one costs. of these game consoles cost. <laughs> right, no. Because otherwise, Bill Gates and uh, that other really famous guy that's got a lot of money that I can't think of... They would be the only ones that can yeah, afford this no, thing. No, I don't know what the actual price tag is going to be when it finally hits the market, but they are uh, doing development kits now. So there have been actually quite a few development kits that have been sent out for this. And I don't also believe that it will be a gaming console. It's uh, my understanding this is a essentially will be a gaming accessory. I could be wrong about that. So, you know, there may end up being an Oculus Rift for Sony PlayStation. There may be another one for Xbox, that kind of thing, or for your home computer. So it seems to me to be uh, something that will use will be usable on existing games. Like you'll be able to play a game without it, and like a third per- like a first person shooter kind of game. You play this. You could play that without the Oculus Rift, and you could play it with the Oculus Rift and have full immersion uh, in the game. So two dimensional photos, he says, and videos are a poor substitute as well. It's one of the most completely bizarre, wonderful, unique, laugh out loud, holy cow video experiences. That I have ever had. I was blown away by this product when I tried it at CES, the big computer expo in Las Vegas, earlier this year. It's still a prototype, but the new Oculus Crystal Cove prototype features some impressive technical improvements over their last version. Basically, they've gotten rid of the slightly jerky way the landscape moves around as you turn your head, and they've added an increased level of positional tracking so that the game reacts when you lean into or pull away from an object. The result is a level of virtual 3D reality that reacts so naturally to what the user does that you actually get motion sickness when you stop playing because your body has been convinced that it was moving around. Again, this sounds like a mere technicality until you see it for yourself. Lean forward to look at a cockpit dashboard in the game and the gauges and displays loom toward you with natural clarity just as they would in real life. It's disconcertingly good. The internal 3D world moves as convincingly as a real one. The context here is that video games bore me. I've owned a PlayStation and a Wii, both of which had long careers as dust collectors in my living room. I'm just not interested in sitting on a sofa for hours at a stretch playing advanced versions of Space Invaders. Yet within seconds of donning the new headset, I knew this was a non-cliched game changer in the sense that it will literally change games forever. Once the goggles were in place and they fit over your glasses if you wear them, I was instantly inside the cockpit of a military space fighter launching into a gloomy asteroid-filled galaxy of hostile aliens and impossibly vast ships. The game was Eve Valkyrie. Uh, But the game itself is actually the least interesting part of the experience. It's the fact that when you look at your feet, you see a pair of feet at the pedals of a beat-up fighter ship. Turn around to look behind you, and you can see the leather cushion on the back of your seat. Check out the ceiling, look out the side windows, whatever you want to do. The level of detail is helped by a high-definition OLED screen display. So you can only play first-person games with this thing. Well, I think those will be the most interesting kind of games that you could play with this thing, but I don't know if that's the limitation on the technology. There may be ways to make other games useful in this particular tech. It's just that that's not going to be the killer app. You know, because if I'm playing a video game, I'm either going to be playing some sort of football game Mm -hmm. or a wrestling game. And you can't really do that in first person. We'll come back with more here in moments. Share your thoughts. Virtual reality. Is it here? Free Talk Live. 
Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at bitcoingeneralstore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You gotta see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. It's already too late. Criminals have kicked in your door and are now in your home. Before this happens, homeowners have a choice. One, do nothing and hope you aren't one of the 1.4 million families attacked each year. Or two, refuse to be a victim and for as low as $59, reinforce your doors with door devils. Door devils simply attach to existing door frames and have proven to stop the biggest bad guys from kicking in doors. Read our police testimonials of real-life events at doordevil.com. Alarms don't stop kick-ins. We do. Doordevil.com. Running a business without being incorporated is like walking a tightrope without a net. One little misstep could cost you your entire business, your personal assets, and even your life savings. But no matter how big or small your business is, you can quickly protect yourself and your family by incorporating or forming an LLC. Call LLC.com today and we'll get you started by sending you our important free guide. 1-800-914-2967. At LLC.com, we don't offer legal or financial advice. We specialize in making incorporation simple, quick, and easy. In fact, we've been helping businesses do just that for over 100 years. Running a business without a safety net really is putting your whole future on the line and your family's future. Find out how simple it is to protect your personal assets by incorporating. Request your free guide by calling 1-800-914-2967. This is information you really need to know. That number again is 1-800-914-2967. 1-800-914-2967. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, bring up anything here in these remaining moments. There's just enough time for you and your thoughts. You just dial on in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've been talking kind of technology uh, this hour, to transhumanism all the way to virtual reality. And apparently virtual reality is becoming a reality. I remember back in the 1990s being very interested. I was, of course, a teenager throughout most of the 1990s and uh, very interested in video games. I've always been a gamer. 
Uh, not so much these days, maybe as much as I might like to. Oh, you still play video games? I still do. I still do. But I, 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 w- I wish I could play more video games uh, rather than have to work. But, you know, responsibilities do call. Uh, I consider somebody a gamer if they play, like, at least an hour of video games a week. Per week? I would say I probably qualify for that, but there are some weeks where I don't play video games. That they're probably some of the hardcore gamers that are like, no, man, you're not a gamer unless you play, play like hour four a hours a day, man. Uh, I like, we, we've got to go that. destroy the temple in the world of Warcraft, and that's not easy. Sometimes I'll binge on a video game and play like a crack addict for hours at a time, and then I'll stop and I won't play for weeks, and then I'll come back to it. So eh, there's no real consistency with me, but uh, I have been a fan of video games for a long time and VR, virtual reality, has always been kind of this holy grail uh, for gaming that, you know, back in the 1990s was kind of also the beginning of first person shooters, as they are called, which are games wherein you are, the camera perspective is as it is inside you, it is a first person perspective and you basically, the goal of the game is to shoot anything that moves for the most part. Yeah, and my hand-eye coordination is not good enough to do the first person things. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I certainly can't hack it against the teenagers. I mean, if I get in, like, I don't play the multiplayer games anymore because I just get my butt kicked and there's just no point uh, because you're you're up against 15-year-olds who, they do play four hours a day, so they, they whoop your butt. And that's on a slow day. Yeah. And so, but, you know, I was always interested in VR. It was always this, fan, you know, fantastic idea that you would be completely immersed, at least your vision would be completely immersed in, in a game. You look left. The screen looks left, you know, that kind of thing. And there were movies about it and, you know, television shows and things like that. Yeah, I remember there was a thing in one of the shopping malls in Birmingham when I was a a teenager. Like a demo thing where you could play it or something? And you could play it. Did you do it? And I did. And I thought it was so neat being able to see an arm. Yeah. (laughs) Like, you know, you put this thing on and then, all right, so here's your weapon. and. Would you, you shoot like, at somebody out. else? Was there like another one that someone would yeah. get into? I heard so about this. It, thing. it would be you know two people. You'd go pay like five bucks yeah, or whatever it was to play, and you would play against them, and you would you know like press some button to walk forward, but you would see this arm, and it was obviously you know a digitally very basic, drawn, yeah, very you know eight bit sort of horrible right. graphic. But at the time, you're like, oh, wow, Whoa. this is so cool. It still I, sounds I lift cool. my arm and I look and I can see an arm. And who won? Did you uh, win the game or did the other I guy shoot you? I don't remember, but I, I just remember thinking that it was so cool. Were you uh, were you holding a controller in your hand and yeah. manipulating? So uh, so fascinating stuff. And I I I never had that opportunity. I you know I never went to Epcot or whatever to where you could do something like that. And uh, and so I really liked Epcot when I was a kid. Disney was so boring to me, mainly because one of my aunts wanted to keep going on the It's a Small World ride, <laughs> and that's all I remember about Couldn't Disney. Get enough of that one, huh? But Epcot, I loved Epcot. Well, it's much more tech. Epcot's like you know cutting edge kind of technology. So it kind of fell off the radar, though. Virtual reality, it seemed to have this spurt of popularity in the 90s for a short period of time. And then I guess people just realized this wasn't going to become real. I mean, it just wasn't being manufactured on any kind of uh, consumer level to be usable and affordable. And the, the games weren't really there. And and it never really came and came back up until here and now, 2014, when Facebook buys this Oculus Rift thing. Uh, or the Oculus Company, their product is called the Oculus Rift. The businessinsider.com got a chance to try this thing out, and this guy says he's not even a video game fan, but he was blown away by this, uh, about how you can just literally look around in this game, and it was really amazing to him. He says the Crystal Cove version of the Oculus Rift is currently only a prototype that game developers can buy and experiment with. There are about 50,000 development kits for the original headset out there. Neither are available at retail yet, and the number of top quality games you can play on it is limited, so gamers will have to wait. I left the Oculus booth in Las Vegas completely convinced that it's the future. Oculus makes games like Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty played on a TV look like Pong. There was just one question in my head. 
Why does this company still exist? It should have been acquired by Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo or EA or Take-Two or any of the other large gaming companies months ago. The firm has taken in about $115 million in funding from investors and backers on Kickstarter as well. Some would imply a valuation in the billions. So they finally did get purchased. Facebook bought them for $2 billion. The deal was announced earlier this week. Many people feel like that'll be the death of the Oculus Rift. Um, because Facebook, gaming development, the two don't really seem to go together. Are they going to be using this for social networking somehow? Who knows what Facebook has in mind for this technology, but I'm sure that Oculus isn't the only company in the game. If, if Oculus has come this far in developing virtual reality, I bet you there are at least a couple other players. Who knows if Sony or, or uh, Microsoft have something up their sleeves as well. It seems to me like this being 2014 and we're starting to see realistic... Because the thing within the 90s was they had the headsets. They were a lot bulkier then than they appear to be now. Yes. So the, the tech was a lot bigger, a lot heavier in the 90s. And the games just weren't there. You know, the software wasn't there for it. Like you said, when you were playing, it was like a blocky 8-bit looking arm that was coming out. Now, games are close to photorealistic at this point. Yes. I mean, a game can look almost like a photograph these days. So I've always, you know, recently of recent times have been saying to myself, the games are there. The software is there. Why don't we have virtual reality yet? Well, it looks like it's upon us. And it could point. be a thing to where Facebook is trying to expand instead of, okay, we're a social network, mm -hmm. Do something to different. we're going to be, you know, some sort of computing, you know, I, I don't want to say empire, but, mm. you know, we, we want to be a big giant company within everything involving computers and you know electronics well you do have to change up the game a little bit to uh, to stay on top and otherwise you'll end up falling off the radar let's go to corby he's in texas so i'm excited you know vr is is here of course it's it's it is going to raise the the concerns and our, they're legitimate concerns that well we've already got problems with people that are addicted to massively multiplayer online role playing games and they don't leave their house so this is probably not going to help that situation. But Corby's in Texas. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Corby. Hey, thanks for your let me name my call. Um, yeah, I don't play games much either because I don't get any work done if I play a lot of games. But I used to play a lot of online poker. But my question is, um, was one of you two the one that did the ad for MindThings.com? Nope, that would be Mark, who is not here tonight. Mark. Oh, okay. Have you, ever, have you ever played that game, either of you, or... Honestly, I, I have tried not. to log in. And it seemed rather complicated. My question is, what do I do when I log in? I couldn't quite. I didn't read the directions, of course, but. Well, that would be step happen. number one: is uh, is read yeah, the I know, directions. I know, but that was. I'm trying to get the speedy version, but. Yeah, anyway, I don't know. If, I mean, even if I did know how to play the game, I don't know if uh, a national radio show is an appropriate place for tech support. Okay, well, you said free time. You can call about anything. So you about can. You, you can't call about anything, but preferably it'll be an have issue. Ever, have you ever played, is my question. Have you right. ever played the game? No, yeah. I have not. It sounds interesting okay. for those who like to mine things, but that's not up my I alley for I, okay, I was just curious. Okay. video games. So, yeah, but I mean, yeah, you can call about anything, but preferably it should be something that other people can relate to or we can we can make relatable to other people. Obviously, you know, you could call yeah, about a, an like, issue on the freetalklive.com website and walking you through fixing the problem wouldn't be very interesting for other listeners. So try to I keep that in mind. I wasn't asking for that. I was asking for the, you know, oh, you do this at the whatever. But okay, if you've never played it, then yours, you know as much as I do. Uh, yeah, so. if you go to mindthings.com, there is a button that says start playing. I would start there. Corby, I thanks. for that. <laughs> That's as far as I got. But I thank you. All right, good luck, Corby, and uh, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Yeah, so mind things. Yeah, I've com. never played... I actually met the guy that created that game at in Liberty Forum a couple of years ago. Yeah, he lives in Manchester, doesn't he? I have no clue where he lives. Okay. Just somehow there was a conversation and he was like, oh yeah, I created that game. And I was like, oh, okay, interesting. Because I had heard a rumor that he created this game to where people would actually wind up mining Bitcoin for him. I've heard that too. And he says it's not true. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, we are out of time, and if you want to look into MindThings, go to MindThings.com. I'm sure there are instructions on there somewhere. 
what game does not have instructions? And it sounds like that, that they do have it. I wish I could have been a more help to Corby. Yeah. But uh, sorry. See you tomorrow online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, March 28th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.67 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,290 per ounce. 